Proverbs 11, verse 8. It says the godly are rescued from trouble. Isn't that wonderful? That's a promise. That God has promised us, each one of us. Our story today is about Patsy. And she lived in Zimbabwe. That's in Africa. And she came home from school one day and her dog, Rover, was hurt. She doesn't know how he got hurt because dogs can't talk. But his leg was really hurt and it was a big gash in his leg. He said, oh, Rover. Rover was her favorite dog, her favorite pet. She loved Rover. And you know what? Rover loved Patsy too. And she says, come here. And she says, oh, I'm so sorry. And so she went and she got some medicine and she put it on his leg. And she took a big uh, gauze and bandage and wrapped it around and around and around his leg. And she, and when he would walk, he kind of walked with a limp because it really hurt. And so she just had him lie down. She gave him food and water and she pet him, pet him and pet him and loved him. And uh, every day he got a little better. Every day. And after about a week, he was running just like he used to. And he didn't have to have a bandage anymore. And he got well. Well, a few weeks later, he was completely well. And you know what? He really loved Patsy because he knew Patsy had taken care of his, his uh, sore and his wound very nicely. Well, a few weeks later, she told him off. She says, Mom, Rover and I can go for a walk. We can go down by the river and uh, we'll be back. Mom said, oh, okay. They live not too far from a river. And so she and Rover said, come on, Rover, let's go. And they hiked off and they were hiking along the river and in the bushes and just hiking, having such a nice time. And they had, there were water lilies there growing along the river. And she thought, oh, those are so pretty. And she kept walking along the river and looking at them. She says, oh, I want a water lily. And she said, I wonder if I could get one. And she went down the bank of the river. It was kind of a steep bank and she was kind of reaching out and oh, they're a little too far away. And she kept walking along the river and just, oh, there's one that's a little closer. Maybe I can get that. And so she reached, reached, reached and she couldn't. So she was hanging on to the grass, the tall grass by the bank on the river. And she was reaching, 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 just tried. And all of a sudden she fell in the water and it was really deep and she couldn't touch the bottom. And you want to know something? The sad news is that Patsy didn't know how to swim. She did not know how to swim. And she was going, she said, help! 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 You want to know something? Nobody heard her. No one heard her. And she was in deep water. She couldn't touch the bottom and she couldn't swim. She said, help! Help! And people were too far away. They couldn't hear her. And she would go, oh no, help, help, help. All of a sudden, she heard a splash. And then she heard something grab her clothes like this and pull her and pull her and pull her. And she's going, oh. she's going under the water and coming up. But something was pulling her and pulling her and pulling her to the shore. Do you know who it was? Rover. He jumped in and grabbed her clothes and pulled her to the bank and she got to the bank and then she grabbed the grass and the weeds and she was able to climb up on the bank and she said, she's a rover, you saved my life. And rover sat there, rover saved Patsy. What a sweet dog. I love stories like that. And she sat there for a long time, catching her breath because she had swallowed water. And she had coughing and spitting. And then she remembered who really saved her, who sent Rover in, and that was Jesus. 
And she thanked Jesus. And she says, Rover, let's go home and tell mommy that you saved me. And so she was a soaking wet little girl. It was a good thing it was a warm day. Soaking wet little girl as she walked home. And she was so happy that Rover saved her. And you know what? Rover, Rover was walking right along, happy as can be, because he knew he had done the right thing. Well, they went home and they told mommy and daddy all about it. And mommy and daddy got so scared. They didn't know what to do. That was a scary story for them. But she said, but Rover jumped in and pulled me to shore. And mommy said, oh, good Rover, good Rover. And then mommy said, you know, you helped bandage his wound a few weeks ago and took such good care of him. And now he turned around and he saved you. And Patsy says, yes, I know. That night when they had family worship before they went to bed, guess what they were thanking the Lord for? They were thanking the Lord that Patsy was alive and didn't drown in the river because nobody was around and nobody heard her except Rover. They had worship that night and thanked the Lord and praised the Lord. And that's what we need to do is thank the Lord and praise the Lord. Okay, I want to have prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for saving Patsy when she fell in and no one was around, but you sent Rover in. Thank you for our pets, Lord. We love them. We love you so much. And Lord, we know you are coming soon. Help us to be ready for you. For Jesus' sake, amen.